so you want to mill sim. Huh. Hey, what's up guys? I'm Dials46. Welcome back to a brand new video. Thanks for joining me. If you haven't yet subscribed, you should do that. And if you already have subscribed, well, I appreciate you. Let's get into this. Hey, you good, buddy? The first thing I like to tell people is not all milsim organizations are created equal. And by that, I mean not all milsim, I use that word kind of vaguely, uh, not all milsim organizations offer the same kind of milsim. It's up to you to do your own research to find out how hardcore of a milsim event you want or what brand or style of milsim is right for you. How far down that rabbit hole do you want to go? I would even go as far as to say not all milsim organizations are actually milsim, to be fair. So again, doing your own research and finding out what kind and style of milsim you want is up to you. Make sure you do the research. In the same breath, make sure you're preparing yourself, not only mentally, but a bit physically. And if you know that you're not in the best of shape, then do yourself a favor again and don't act like you are. Know what your limits are, and when you get close to those limits, there's no shame in having to take a knee, take a break, take a water break, take five, catch your breath. Watch out for dehydration, watch out for heat stroke, and again, know your limits. I'm a big guy, but I still make it, and I still know when it's time to run, or if I got the energy, then I'll run, and if not, just do the best you can. You definitely just like don't want to be like totally out of shape, though. I mean, like, trust me, the last thing you want is to be riding out of the AO in the back of a truck, just like gasping for air while everyone's looking at you. Know your limits. All right, three, two, one. That being said, after you've prepared yourself mentally and maybe physically a little bit, not really, make sure that you prepare your gear and that you have the gear that you need to make you prepared. I'm not going to sit here and talk too much about guns, your first and second line, your fatigues, things like that. We'll save that for another video. But what I do want to talk about are some really important things that often get overlooked. Good eye protection, something that's going to be clear, fight the fog, and more importantly, be very comfortable. So don't break out a new pair of goggles or some kind of sealed eye pro for your first big milsim event. You want to make sure that they're going to sit comfortably on your face for extended use. The other thing that I see get looked over all too often is good footwear. You definitely don't want to cheap out on your feet. Your feet will take care of you. They'll take you where you need to go. So spend the extra couple bucks on them. Don't cheap out those hiking shoes and things from Walmart. They're not gonna have the steel shank in them. They're not gonna have any type of arch support or comfort for that matter. And they're just gonna break down fast. And oftentimes the soles are glued on, not stitched. There's not a lot of quality there. You get what you pay for. Uh, they're made in China, enough said. Spend the extra money on your feet and your feet will take care of you. In the same line, make sure you have an extra pair of dry socks. Maybe pack them in a Ziploc bag in case your first pair of socks get wet, trust me. It's the little nice things you can do for yourself while you're out there in the field. So not talking about your load bearing gear that's going to carry your magazines and general purpose items, but a good small to medium sized pack, a backpack, to put your extra socks and water inside. Uh, things like that that you can carry in your back, but it's not going to be too big, too bulky to where you're really going to notice the weight. Uh, and you don't want it too big or too bulky to where you add extra weight into it and then actually regret it later on. Remember, ounces equal pounds, pounds equal pain. Lighter is better for sure. If you're just getting into milsim and looking to do your first military simulation event, the biggest advice I could give you is do not be intimidated or too shy, but at the same time, don't be that guy. You know, the guy that knows everything and barks at others, even when it's not his job. Now, if it's not your squad leader, platoon leader, faction leader, anything like that, um, you don't have to listen to these people. And all too often, people get a little bit too excited and they want to tell you how much they know. Just remember that everyone is there to have fun and more importantly, Everyone has paid to be there and have fun. That being said, sometimes you must make your own fun. By that, I mean if the objectives run low, you haven't received any orders in a while. While working within the frame, the structure, and the parameters of the Milsim event, don't be afraid to go out there and have your own fun, making your own fun. I think all too often people expect the game to be catered to them because they paid more than what their average weekend open play would cost. Let's go get some payback, they expect stolen. the event to kind of be they catered to them bub -bub. and entertain them. But just like at your open play on the weekend, sometimes you have to entertain yourself a little bit. So don't be afraid to make your own fun when it's allowed. So there you go, guys. Just kind of a rough idea. Get out there. Have fun. Uh, make sure that, um, you know, you're following some of these simple rules. Make sure you've done your research. You know what you're getting yourself into. Make sure that that's the Milsim brand and the Milsim style that you want. And here's a couple things I'll finish up the video with. Just a few friendly reminders. Don't forget to hydrate. Call your hits. Don't call your enemies hits. Pack an extra charged battery. Use your cargo pockets for things like water bottles. Know your limits. Drink your milk. Don't run with scissors. And most importantly, have fun.
Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Ding that bell. I will catch you next time. Peace.